Good morning, this is Ms. Razan. Today we are going to talk about the menstrual cycle and fertility. So in this lesson we have to describe the menstrual cycle in women and we are going to explain at which part of the menstrual cycle a woman is most fertile. Okay, now you have to know that women between ages of 12 and 50 years old undergo a monthly cycle in which their uterus prepares for pregnancy. It prepares for a fertilized egg to settle and grow into a baby. But if pregnancy does not occur, the lining of the uterus breaks down and is expelled from the uterus as a period. This is known as menstruation. So all this process known as menstruation. So again, once a girl will into puberty, her menstrual cycle begins. So puberty after 12 years old. And she will know this has happened because about every four weeks she will have a period. And period means a few days of bleeding from her vagina or from the girl's vagina. So we have a bleeding from the vagina. So this is a period. Okay, now what is actually happening during these events during the menstrual cycle as we say that each girl has two ovaries and inside the ovaries we have a definite number of ova or eggs so each month some eggs start to ripen ripen or be mature in the ovaries after about two weeks one of them will be ripe and ready to leave the ovary. Now what happened inside the uterus when this ovum is ready to leave the ovary? Actually in the uterus we have a special rich lining of little blood vessels, cells and the mucus builds up. So we have a three things built up in the uterus, in the lining of the uterus, which are blood vessels, cells, and the mucus. So all these things build up in the lining. Now, the uterus in this stage is ready to support the developing baby. Okay? Of course, if the ovum is fertilized. So, if the ovum is fertilized, so we have baby. Now, the uterus is ready to support the developing baby. So, now the process when the ovum is ripe, okay? When the ovum is ripe, it bursts out from the ovary. So, when the ovum is ripe or mature, it leaves the ovary into the oviduct. So when the ovum leaves the ovary into the oviduct, this process is called ovulation. So ovulation is the release of an egg from the ovary into the oviduct and that happens approximately every 28 days. So again, ovulation is the release of an egg from the ovary to the oviduct during or every 28 days. Okay, now when the ovum is in the oviduct, now the ovum released from the ovary and now it's in the oviduct 
it could be fertilized by a sperm. So in the oviduct, could be fertilized by a sperm and begin to grow into a baby. But if there is no fertilization, so there will be no baby. So if, again, when the ovum is in the oviduct, it could be fertilized by a sperm and begin to grow into a baby. So after that, the ovum travels towards the thick lining of the uterus. So here, if the ovum fertilized by a sperm, but what will happen if the ovum is not fertilized. So, you have to know that if the ovum is not fertilized, actually it will die. Here, the lining of the uterus is not needed. The lining of the uterus is not needed. So, about two weeks after ovulation process, we will lose this lining during a period so after two weeks from ovulation we lost the lining from the uterus so this lining cells mucus and the blood is lost through the vagina in a process called period Okay, so in period, we lost the lining of the uterus. So again, we, we have the main three things. The first thing, ovulation, when the egg or ovum released from the ovary. So what will happen in this stage? Direct the uterus will change. How it change, the lining of the uterus will be rich of little blood vessels, cells, and the mucus. Okay. Now, when the ovum is in the oviduct, it could be fertilized by a sperm and begin to grow into a baby. So, after starting the growing into the baby, the ovum travels into the uterus. Because in the uterus we have thick lining, which is good to, or which is the optimum conditions to grow the baby. In the third stage, we say that if the ovum is not fertilized, sure, it dies. And here, the uterus does not need the lining. So, the lining is lost through the vagina as the period. And as we say, period means a few days of bleeding from the vagina. Okay, so few days bleeding from the vagina, we called it a period. Okay, now as you know and as we said, that there are a definite number of eggs inside the ovaries. So when ovary run out of ova at about 50 years of age, so we say that this woman reached into the menopause. So here it's very important to know when all the ovum or ovary in the ovary run out okay we say that this woman reached into the menopause so we explained before that the menstrual cycle starts during puberty and it takes about 28 days from beginning to end okay so 
we said also that when a girl is young and her periods first start, the menstrual cycle carries on until the ovaries run out of ova. So the menopause is when the periods finally stop at about 50 years of age. So again, when, okay, when the woman reached into the menopause, that means that all the ova run out from the ovaries. Okay, now you have to know that the menstrual cycle involves change in hormone levels in the body. So girls and women may feel tense and irritable at some stage of the cycle. So before a period, we have many tense or we feel tense or irritable. So this is called a premenstrual tension. So PMI, or here they uh, named it PMS, premenstrual syndrome. But here in your book, they named it PMT or premenstrual tension. So premenstrual tension, all the change in hormone levels in the body that will make the girls feel tense or irritable. So we called it again premenstrual tension, PMT. Okay. Now let's see what will happen during the menstrual cycle. As we said, the menstrual cycle is 28 days. Let's divide those 28 days depending on what happened through the cycle. Now, let's start with day one, which is the first day in the period. Okay, so in day one, menstrual, we have menstrual period. So here, if the egg is not fertilized, it passes out of the body along with the lining of the uterus during period okay so the we have from day one to day five some girls to day seven it depends on the body so the first day of the menstrual cycle we called it menstrual period so when the period here if the egg is not fertilized so we will remove the blood in the uterus or the lining which is in, in the uterus so that will make the period which is a few days of bleeding from her vagina okay now in day seven the wall of the uterus begins to thicken again we say that in the period we remove the thick lining from the uterus but after finishing the menstrual period in day seven, the wall of the uterus begins to thicken again, okay? And that will take around seven days, okay? Now, here we have the part of the cycle is variable in length depending on the body. Now, in day 14, an egg is released from one ovary. So here we have the ovulation process and passes into the oviduct. So we say that when the egg released into the oviduct, we called it ovulation. So ovulation process happened in day 14. Okay. So here you have to know that the girl can be a pregnant in only three days we will explain that later on now let's continue the 28 days of the menstrual cycle in this time from day 14 to day 28 time from egg release to start of period is about 14 days so it's the time between the releasing egg and the period again in day 22, here, 
The wall of the uterus is thick with a rich blood supply. So if we have fertilized egg, so the uterus will be ready to develop the baby inside it. But if we don't have, we will reach again into the first day in the menstrual period to remove and to release and to expel all the blood or all the lining inside the uterus. Okay? So here, if we have a fertilized egg, this egg would implant. So in tw day 22, we will know that the egg implants. So again, we have a 28 from day 1 to day 5, but sometimes it could reach into 7. Here we have the menstrual period. In day 7, after removing all the old uterus, the wall of the uterus begins to thicken again. In day 14, here we have the ovulation process. After day 14, between 14 to 28, here we have time from egg release to start of the period again. In day 22, we say that the wall of uterus is ready to implant a fertilized egg. Okay, now the things that you have to know that the menstrual cycle lasts for about a month, which is 28 days. And you have to know that a woman is only fertile for a very short time during this cycle. So, a woman fertile for a very short time. So, she can only get pregnant when an ovum has been released from the ovary. In the middle of the cycle, we say that here the egg released from the ovary. Okay. You have to know that each ovum only lives for about 24 hours after ovulation so here the ovulation and the ovum can only live 24 hours but sperm can live three days after they are released this means that there are about three days each month when sexual intercourse can result in a pregnancy. So we have many three days, okay, in each month when sexual intercourse can result in a pregnancy. Those days are 12, 13, and 14. So if sexual intercourse happened in 12, sorry, in 12, yes, 13 and 14, if the intercourse happened in 12, so the sperm can live 12, 13, and 14. In 14, the egg released from the ovary. So here, the ovulation process. Now we have sperm and ovum, so we can get a new fertilized egg to develop into a baby. Okay, now to... Here we, ha we say that we have ovum. The ovum can live 24 hours. The sperm can live three days. Also, we explained it. Now, in your book, if you want to highlight the main things that we need, you have to know what do we mean by ovulation and what happened into the uterus in ovulation process. And... If we have fertilized egg, what will happen to the lining of the uterus? And if we don't have, or if the ovum is not fertilized, what will happen to the, uh, to the lining of the uterus? And how we remove the blood from the uterus? And you have to know what do we mean by menopause and premenstrual tension. Okay. And in this page, you have to know the stages of the menstrual cycle. And also, you have to know that here, we ovum can live 24 hours, but the sperm can live three days. Okay. And the three days which can result in a pregnancy, 12, 13, and 14. Okay. Now... Let's watch this video to understand the process more.
the menstrual cycle. Menstruation, also called having a period. As girls get older and their bodies change, they get their periods. The uterus is the part inside the body where a baby grows when a woman is pregnant. The inner lining of the uterus supports and nourishes the developing baby. If there is no baby, the lining is shed during her period. During a period, blood and other tissue from the uterus leave the body through the vagina. A period can last from a few days to about a week. You may have heard doctors talk about the menstrual cycle. This is the time from one period to another, usually about 28 days. Day one of the menstrual cycle is the first day of a period. The uterus starts to shed its lining. As soon as the period ends, the uterus prepares again to receive a fertilized egg. Eggs are released from a woman's ovaries. Eggs are super tiny, one-tenth the size of a poppy seed. Women have two ovaries, one on each side. The fallopian tubes lead from each ovary to the uterus. In the middle of the menstrual cycle, an ovary releases an egg. After ovulation, the egg travels down the fallopian tube. It takes a few days to complete the journey. Meanwhile, the lining of the uterus gradually gets thicker so it can support the development of a fertilized egg. If the egg gets fertilized, it will implant in the uterus and the woman is pregnant. If the egg is not fertilized, the woman is not pregnant and the egg will begin to dissolve. Because the woman is not pregnant, the lining of the uterus is not needed. A woman will have her monthly period and the cycle begins again. Okay, so we have finished the menstrual cycle and, cycle and fertility. So please answer summary questions. And if you have any question, you can send to me in B12. Study well and good luck.